Ty, thank you. And we now want to get the latest advisory and track for Hurricane Michael. Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer joins us now with that. Craig. Uh, good afternoon. Unfortunately, this is a very bad situation for the Panhandle because we have an intensifying Category 4 storm. And typically when storms intensify, they become stronger in their ability to overcome obstacles such as cooler water or even wind shear. There is the center right now, and you can see it's getting closer and closer to the coast. Ty is located there in Panama City. He is going to be on the back side of the eye wall here, it looks like, unless we get a little bit of a wobble to the left. Uh, he's going to be on the back side of the eye wall here. It looks like the center or the eye is going to pass very close to Mexico Beach or maybe just a little bit northwest of that. But you can see the flow really piling the water in there and some points reporting up to five and a half feet of inundation, which means that the water is now five and a half feet deep over that area. So there is where we are right now. There's the core. This is the business part of the hurricane, the worst part right here. It's in here that the winds are better than 130 miles an hour, and because of that, the National Weather Service in Tallahassee has put this area here under an extreme wind warning. We hardly ever see these issued, but an extreme wind warning for winds in excess of 130 miles an hour. So clearly, this is going to be crushing trees and doing a considerable amount of building damage as it moves on shore. Now, here's Tallahassee. It's going to be a very close call because it looks like that center is going to come up very near or just west of Tallahassee. Tallahassee could uh, be in part of the eye wall for a period of time, which would be very, very devastating. Look at the winds right now, 54 miles an hour in Apalachicola, Tyndale Air Force Base, 41 miles an hour in the wind gust. 71 in Apalachicola and 66 in Tendale. Tallahassee right now has an east wind at 39, so gusting to tropical storm force strength. Here is the latest stat. This is the noon advisory, and uh, it's 150 mile an hour hurricane, category four. 160 would be category five, so we're below that, but uh, very, very in the upper end of the category four. North, northeast now at 14. If there's any good news, it's moving quickly, so it's not going to linger, and the pressure continues to fall as of noon, 40 miles south of Panama City. Here's where it's headed, the worst of it is headed, besides the storm surge, a tornado threat, and a rainfall threat. The wind threat is gonna be quite severe. This is through 7 p.m. this evening. So brushing Tallahassee there, but as you can see, this purple area here will have significant wind damage right on into southwest Georgia. Then after that, it's on to the northeast. So this is the area under the threat of widespread long-term power outages and significant wind damage. Where it goes after that, Lisette Gonzalez is coming up in just a little bit to have more on that. Plus, our local weather, she'll be back in just a little bit.